friends, this is Dom, and today we're going to be talking about collage and the artist Romare Bearden, and then I'm inviting you to create a collage. So this lesson is going to be taking two classes uh, because today I want you to look at and then think about how you're going to make a collage and start preparing for that. And then next art time, I want you to use that time to make your collage. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at some examples by a famous artist who was born in North Carolina. His name is Romare Bearden, and he was born just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. His family uh, lived near a train, train tracks. And so one of the images that you see features a train. He lived in, he was African American, lived in an African American community. Uh, and you can see that also within his images. You'll see also the one titled Jazz Village. That one is not inspired by North Carolina because he moved with his family to New York City and he lived throughout most of the 20th century. He was born in 1911. He died in 1988. And during that time, uh, there was something called the Harlem Renaissance where a lot of people who were artists, writers, musicians, um, of African-American descent went to New York City and they had a thriving community where lots of artists and musicians and writers shared ideas and created a lot of original art and music and jazz was one of those uh, types of music. So that's uh, what inspired that particular collage. So looking at his work, if you look closely at that Jazz Village image, you will see cutouts from magazines. You'll see some painted paper that he has cut and collaged. And so to make a collage, you're taking lots of different types of paper. Uh, it could be a photograph. It could be a picture in a magazine. It could be uh, even a, an assignment that you don't need anymore. It could be something that you've recycled, uh, a wrapper from maybe a food that you like, a scrap of fabric. It could be pretty much anything that you can cut into shapes and then put back together in a new way. So looking at the way he created his images, um, he cut pieces and parts from different paper and different images and reconfigured them. And so that's going to be your challenge. Uh, also, he was inspired by his life in New York City and also his family that he would often go visit in North Carolina uh, as he was growing up and even as an adult. So he was born in North Carolina and he would return to North Carolina. And you can see images of his life in North Carolina as well as his life in New York. And I know some of you maybe have lived in other places, um, or maybe you've spent your whole life in North Carolina. What kinds of images do you think of um, when you think about your life? So what I want you to do today is start looking around and try to find some things that you could use for your collage. If you can't find a lot of colored paper, you can get some paper and paint that paper. So if you look at Jazz Village, the man wearing the jacket with stripes, Romare Bearden just got some paper and painted some stripes on it, and then he cut it out to make that striped jacket. And you can see that um, for other parts of that collage as well. So you can paint some paper or you can find paper that's already the color you want it to be. Um, you can cut out photographs. Uh, please don't cut out family photographs without asking for permission. 
might need to make a copy of it before you cut it out. Uh, but gather materials. If you feel like you have enough, you can go ahead and start cutting. But don't glue it today. Today I want you to just play around with composing. In other words, finding a way to arrange uh, whatever it is that you've cut out in an interesting way. So when you look at the collages that Romare Bearden made, he went to art school. He learned about art and how to make his images balanced and interesting. Um, he studied realistic art as well as abstract art, and you can see he pulls those ideas and puts them together in his collages. So they're, they, they look like an actual scene, but they also have an abstract element to them. They're not entirely realistic, and that was on purpose. Uh, he, he studied art in New York, and he got his degree in art in New York, and so he was very thoughtful about how he arranged his collages. So I want you to think a little bit before you start gluing things down. And it's always a good idea to start with the larger shapes and images that you want to uh, have as a background before you start gluing figures or animals or smaller details. So day two, when you're ready to start putting it all together, start with larger areas of color because you're gonna need to layer things on top of each other. So you're gonna want something larger. Okay, let's say you're using this post-it note paper um, and then you know, you're gonna put, maybe you're using a wrapper uh, and you're gonna put that on top of it. Okay, if that, if that makes sense. Because if I put this, glue this down first and then put this on, well, then it's covered up. So you want to start with the larger background areas of color and then add the details on top of that. And then once you've glued everything down, another option you have is to add even more details with crayons or markers or pens or whatever you want to use. And so that could be a, a, another final layer if you choose to. We call that mixed media. If you're not just collaging, if you're then drawing or painting on top of that. And Romare Bearden's, he did a lot of what are known as uh, photo montage, where he would use photographs um, along with his painted paper. Um, the one in the middle is called a lithograph where he made the collage and then he made copies of it so it's not a one of uh, and so that he was able to produce more than one image um, that way. So there's lots of ways you can go with this. You can think about your life, you can think about your neighborhood, you can think about your pets, your family where you live now, maybe where you've lived before if you haven't always lived in North Carolina. Uh, maybe you want to do something that relates to uh, school and your friends. I'm going to leave it up to you as far as the subject for your collage, but I want you to try the technique of cutting paper and then arranging it in an interesting way. So first, gather your papers, gather your thoughts, gather your ideas. Second, don't start gluing right away. Lay down the larger background colors first. Lay down your details over it. Move them around and think about how you're going to arrange everything. And then once you're happy with how it looks, start gluing those larger areas down first. The details last. And then finally, if you want to add some finishing touches with paint or markers, you can do that as well. So good luck creating your collage. Uh, take a little time to look at the examples and find your materials and enjoy making an original work of art. See you later. Bye.